cuticles or your skin because you want it to last. I mean, my cousin June, I introduced her to Color Street. She wore Coming Up Rose Gold on her trip to Taiwan with her family. She was gone for like a good while. And she came back and she said, all I had to do was throw on a, a top coat and I was able to wear it for like, I think she did it for like 21 days, like three weeks. It's really awesome to see. So shout out to June. Um, but yes, I think that would have looked better over white, but we are, I'm one that I like to make my nails match. So I'm going to do the same over on the side despite knowing that it's likely going to look better on white. In fact, maybe I'll use another dragon sticker on this finger and I'll just have it on their nail. And then that way we can see what that looks like. But yeah, this dragon right here is the one that I like the most out of the dragons. Like to me, it feels the most Chinese, if that makes sense. <laughs> Speaking of dragons, so, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but growing up when I was in high school, the animated film Mulan came out in the theaters, and at the time I had friends that were, like, friends that were not friends of each other, but they were friends with me, and both sets of friends wanted to go see Mulan on the same day, coincidentally. And so I spent money for two tickets the same day to watch Mulan with two separate groups of friends. And I loved it. I collected the McDonald's toys. Um, the first time I watched the m movie with my friends, I couldn't understand... Um, what was happening as far as the little doggy that Mulan had. Um, for a brief moment, the little doggy came, you know, running by. Um, turns out the little dog was named Little Brother, and I was just like, I loved it. And Cricky. Cricky and Little Brother were my favorites. Um, but, you know, Mushu was cool too, the dragon. Um, but Cricky and little brother were my favorites and I had the McDonald's toys of those two because I loved them so much. And now I don't know where those toys went. I'm sure it's somewhere buried in this house. Our house is very much like a hoarder house. <laughs> my dad does not want to throw anything away. Uh, he and his sister, uh, the way they grew up. And I don't know if my uncle's uh, the same way either. My dad is the middle child of three, but uh, they are very much into like collecting, not wasting. You know, my grandmother grew up during the Depression era and so instilled upon her children, um, you know, the mentality of not wasting and not throwing things away and so yeah somewhere in this house I'm sure I will find <laughs> my little brother my little brother and Cricky toys but you know it's not that important so it's likely not going to happen until the day I move out um, which isn't going to be anytime soon I hope I do enjoy being under the same roof as my parents. That might not be a popular opinion with most, but I absolutely love my parents to death. Like, they are weirdos. <laughs> but they're my kind of weirdos. And, yeah. Like, I don't know how my brother and sister live so far away from our parents, but at the same time, I get it. Like, you know, um, but for me, I, I love the fact that I get to wake up in the morning, uh, and see 
if my parents are doing okay and be able to hang with them. You know, we go out to eat when my dad's doing all right. Um, and we, you know, my mom loves going out to eat, but she also loves to cook. That's literally her way of showing her love is, uh, in the meals that she cooks for us. Ooh, this one I messed up. That one's not going to work. We'll save that for later. Let's try this one. Perhaps it doesn't want to pull out until I pull the side ones out. Maybe that's, maybe that's what's happening here. So let's see what I want to do with the gold. I'm thinking I want to make can't decide. I can't decide. Let's see if we can break it up like this first. And then maybe that will help. All right. These are fun, the pre-cut strips, but they're also a pain in the butt. Um, because not all of them come out right, and then you're just basically wasting. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, which direction? Always got to remember to look at what direction because shoot, 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 shoot. I think I might have to use two for this one because I'm not going to be able to save that properly. And that's okay. These are leftovers from a while ago, so we're we're good with just using them up. I have a hard time. So talk about saving, right? Uh, saving stuff and not throwing away. I have a hard time like using just one set and like you know how they're meant to be used is you would use the one strip at a time for one nail. And, you know, any excess, you just kind of, like, file off, and that is that. But for me, it's like, I can't. Like, I, I need, I have a need for saving them and trying to, like, reuse them later. And I always get really disappointed when they don't work. But they're not guaranteed to work that way. Um... So sometimes I'm like trying to save the leftover strips when I could really just use them, right? And so I don't know. It's I'm torn between actually using them and saving them. <laughs> and I have these what we call unicorn sets. We call them unicorn sets in the Color Street fan world because they're hard to find retired sets that some stylist or some other folks uh, have in their collection that they've been hoarding and holding on to for a long time. And then for one reason or another, they decide they're going to let go of those sets. And sometimes people will pay buku bucks for a set. I know I spent about $20 was the most I've spent for one set at a time. Uh, but others, they'll list them on like eBay and other places for like almost triple digits. And I don't know if anyone ever buys them for that. Nails should never cost that much. It's just nails. So even like I look back and I'm like, wow, I spent $20 on a set. Um, on a few of them actually. Um, but in my mind, I was like, well, I'm supporting the, the stylist and you know, they need to make money too. And because it's a hard to find unicorn set, I want to spend that kind of money to support them and, um, get the set. But those sets aren't always going to be in, you know, pristine condition either. Depends on how you store them and how they're shipped to you and, and all of that. So what I'm trying to say is use those nails, free those unicorns, use them up, 
don't hang on to nails because um, sometimes they don't end up working when you hang on to them for a long time. But with that said, I still have a ton of nails. And what's great about having a ton of nails, you could do a lot of different mixed manis. What's not so fun about having a lot of nails, uh, <laughs> you get a roadblock of too many choices for your manny. And so, as you can tell, I'm like throwing a bunch of different sets on here today, um, which is not the norm, but it's also really fun to do. <laughs> I mean, doing my nails is like my me time. This is the time I get to just be by myself and be creative. I was looking at some old pictures of mine because during the pandemic I got like right before the pandemic and then during the pandemic I got really into uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics because of Shane Dawson. I watch Shane Dawson. I enjoy his content. I know him as a person. The way he portrays himself is sometimes really off-putting. But to me it's funny entertainment and so yeah so anyways from Shane Dawson I learned of Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I got really into like doing my makeup for a hot moment and loved watching makeup channels on YouTube and like trying to follow like what they do and all of that and for like fun holidays I would like do holiday inspired like makeup looks um, but now that I'm like past that phase and I'm able to channel that energy into doing my nails uh, I do my makeup way more subtly uh, almost like a you know no makeup makeup look uh, and panda bear says that I look gorgeous when I do that he's like you look so youthful and vibrant and I'm like that's color street makeup that I'm using and I was like can I use you as like my advertisement to help Carla sell color street makeup cuz that's like the best thing he's ever said to me and how did that conversation come about well I was binge watching love is blind season 5 I know I know my junk TV right I love my junk TV there's something really like satisfying about keeping junk TV on in the background and like half paying attention while I'm scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and and all that when I'm trying to like wind down for the night uh, so I was watching love is blind season 5 and not to ruin it I don't want any spoilers out there but there is a scene where one of the couples where um, the guy was saying how he loves the girl with no makeup on. And I have to agree, like, she was a natural beauty, uh, without makeup on. With makeup on, she looked a little too, and he used the word fake. Um, and I would say, uh, I would say, like... <laughs> I'm so mean. Okay, I'm so mean. Uh, like a blow-up doll. She looked like a plasticky blow-up doll when she had all that makeup on. And maybe that's not a, a popular opinion. Maybe folks who have seen the episodes would think, no, she looked beautiful and glamorous. No, no. Too much. Like, And of course, that's my opinion. And obviously the opinion of the guy, too. But but yeah, that's what sparked the conversation. Uh, Panda Bear was like, oh, no. Because I was like, do you like when I do my makeup? He goes, yeah, you look beautiful. But also, when you don't have makeup on, you look beautiful. And so, yeah, I love my Panda Bear. He is uh, definitely a keeper. All right. Do I do red on the rest? Yes. I want to do red on the rest because... I just do. Do I? 
And I do want to use Roaring Good Time too, so that is actually, I think, what I'm going to do with my pointer finger instead of putting another dragon on. I think I might put a dragon on my thumb. That might be what I do. My pointer finger always curves funny and so does my thumb. So it's really frustrating with the solid strips to lay them down because sometimes they'll get like a wrinkle that I have to like iron out and those are not fun to do and then sometimes I lay them and I'm a little off just slightly off which again nobody's really gonna notice or care but I do but I'll just have this mani on for like a few days so it's not gonna be the end of the world Ooh, anyone who's watching and you're on Facebook, so next month, the day after Thanksgiving, U.S. Thanksgiving, uh, I will be hosting a Tupperware party. So in the f over four decades that I've been alive, I have never once had an actual Tupperware, Tupperware, uh, like, product in my household, uh, and for the very first time, shout out to Amy, my friend Amy, um, we, she had a Tupperware party, and I was invited to her Tupperware party, and I made my first purchase, so I'm very excited about receiving it, but I also, uh, to help her out, I have signed up to host my own Tupperware party. So if you are interested in being invited to that Facebook party, it's right after Thanksgiving. Perfect time for, you know, looking for purchases for yourself or for gifts. And would love if you could join. So, yeah. Send me a PM in Facebook if you're interested. Those that are Facebook friends with me, I'm totally going to mass invite. So you can join. would love to have you participate in the Tupperware party. No purchase necessary. Just be there and have fun interacting with the posts. Uh, but yeah, um, if you're interested, uh, please, please, please reach out to me. Very excited to host a Tupperware party. I'm more excited about actually getting the Tupperware. I bought some for my sister-in-law, Carla, as well as for my mom. And I was thinking they were going to be holiday presents, but I don't know. I might actually give it to them, like, ahead of time, just so they can, like, use them and see about the quality of them. And then by the time November rolls around, then... We can determine if we want to buy more Tupperware for the holidays. So there were some really awesome like things. The one thing though that is a gripe for me is having to pay for shipping. Ugh. Ugh. Like I'm one of those that it's like if they offer free shipping for a certain amount that you spend, I will literally figure out a way to spend that amount. And so that has always been a gripe of mine with Color Street like why don't you offer like a free shipping option like you know you spend a certain amount and like shipping is on them like I would totally end up buying way more uh, if they did that but yeah so that was my only gripe but I'm excited to get Tupperware and see I mean we use Tupperware as any like food storage we call it Tupperware even if it's not Tupperware brand Tupperware and so now I'll actually have that so I'm kind of excited 18 minutes left for part two and we were we will definitely get it done so okay 
What was I saying I was gonna put on here? I think throwing good time, right? I was gonna throw this. Oh yeah, and that's gonna be perfect. You know why? Because it's going to cover up that little bit that I missed right there. But the question is, do I want to add a little bit of gold before I throw that Roaring Good Time on? And I think I do. So, let's put it on this side right here. Do I want to add a lotus flower? No. No. I do not. Sometimes you gotta edit yourself back. It's so hard though, sometimes. Like, I'm just like, add everything. wonder if my nieces will want their nails done today. I wish that they would let me choose. Like, I wish that they tell me the type of mani that they want and then let auntie choose so that it can look more cohesive. But they like doing their mixed manis where it's like a mishmash. They call it mishmash. I don't know. It's it's a hot mess usually, but it's also fun because they're so young. You know, one is turning five next week, uh, and the other had just turned seven. Um, hold on. Had just turned seven in June, so, you know, they're still really young. But, like... Sometimes the colors they pick, I'm just like, I don't know if those go together. But also, Color Street's not meant to be used on kids because they have no, uh, more oily nail beds and they tend to like not stick very well for very long on kids and also on adults that have very oily nail beds. So I know Color Street's not for everyone because the chemistry of it uh, sometimes just doesn't vibe with um, the nails of some folks. So, but for me, they tend to work perfectly. Apparently, my nail beds are not oily, even though my skin sometimes feel very oily, and definitely my hair. <laughs> I, I get that from my dad, the oily hair, um, but I refuse to wash my hair every day. I used to wash it every day, and it got so stripped um, because of all the chemicals and stuff like that that are in shampoos and conditioners, so I refuse to wash my hair every day. I will dry shampoo it sometimes. Most of the time, I just tie my hair back and just hope nobody comments on my greasy hair <laughs> but if you don't wash your hair every day and you leave it alone for a bit it sometimes ends up like going the other direction and then it corrects itself as far as the oily oiliness of the hair so so yeah but just gotta be patient with it and then of course if I'm working out I'm definitely washing my hair uh, that evening because I'm not going to have sweaty, oily hair. That is where I draw the line. But if I haven't sweated, I can go like three days without washing my hair and feel okay. Oh man, I feel like it probably would have looked really good. If I put a flower right there. Huh. I could still do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. I think a flower would go amazing right there. But will it show up? That's the question. Will it show up? Do 
Do do do. Or a fish? Ooh, or a fish. Actually, yes, a gold fish. How about that? We are going to do it. We are going to do it. going to have to be the long one. Oh, how do you get this out? There we go. <laughs> have it swim upwards. All right, and of course you know I'm gonna throw Crystal Couture over that because I'm not gonna throw a sticker and not have something on top of it. So let's do that. And actually, let's use a bigger. I almost never use this one, so let's use this one because I need to get cover the whole sticker and the sides so that doesn't peel. Having all those layers on the pointer finger is also very smart, I think, because that is one of the fingers I use the most. So we protect that finger, it'll less likely chip. And that is what I want. The worst is chipping or breaking a nail when you've had your mixed Manny completed and you're like in love with the Manny. And so, yeah, let's get it done. Let's get it done. How are we on time? Oh shoot. <gasps> no, three parter. No, 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 no. We are going to finish this. Let's hurry up. I'm not going to chat as much now. Panda Bear is back from his run, and so it's going to be kind of loud in the background. So, yeah. Um, here we go. wonder what this is going to look like in the sunlight. Here in the room, it's more subtle, but I'm wondering if it's going to be super, like, it'll stand out more out in the sun. We'll find out, won't we, when I take a nail fee. All right. So, the red is laid down. This one's going to go the pointer finger. Don't stick. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. Oh, I missed it by a teeny bit. See the red still there. I wonder if I can somehow scrape it off. Oh well. Again, nobody's gonna really notice that except for me. All right. And I'm gonna put the sticker actually down first for this one because uh, that will be helpful to put roaring. Good time, and then Crystal Couture. Oh, come on, sticker. Come on out. I need to use you. There you go. And I realize with Roaring Good Time, I want to say that it doesn't have a mirror image one. So if I put it over, it's going to be, ugh, oh, yeah. I'm going to have to do it at an angle if I want to match that. That's my one gripe about Color Street is that it doesn't have like a mirror image option. 
So it's a little frustrating for that. Let's use the pinky one. I'm going to I'm going to Mickey Mouse this to work. Let's see. Let's see how's that? How is that it's supposed to look like that? Across that way. Ugh. I can't do it. It's like that, I think. Something like that. Something like that. That's going to have to do. That is going to have to do. Yeah. I completely forgot that <laughs> Color Street is like that. That's my only gripe. Like, I use other nail sets from, like, Lillian Fox is an example of a company that I use, and they have mirror image ones. Color Street needs to get on board with having the mirror image, but I get it because it's more cost effective to print like a nail design when it's like the same for eight strips uh, across the board. So much easier to do than have it print different mirror image and color street is all nail polish, like 100% nail polish. Um, Whereas with some other companies, I don't know if that's the case. So it's easier to print like nail wraps, like almost like nail stickers, than it is to do nail polish. So I get it, but it's still, to me, annoying. <laughs> I, I like having my nails mirror image match on my hands, even if... Not everyone's going to notice the difference if it's all, like, mixed. And then I know there's some folks that love just one solid color. Uh, and I don't know, like, in my honest opinion, I don't think Color Street is a good way to go when it's just one solid color. Uh, if that's your look that you like, I think having traditional, like conventional nail polish might be more cost effective because a bottle of nail polish runs you anywhere from as low as like five bucks, I think, to as high as however much the high end ones are, but you get to use it over and over. And I've had nail polish bottles that have been like with me for like a decade, even though nail polish does go bad, but I try to use like nail thinner, nail polish like thinner to kind of uh, revive the, the bottles. And so, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, all right. What do I want to do with my pinky and my thumb? I want to be real simple with it. So let's see. Let's do black. We're just going to do a black with like a gold strip. No. Yes. It might just be black, plain black. With the amount of time we've got left, I want to just get this done. If you have watched part two all the way through, I don't know if this emoji is available, but the Hongbao, the red envelope, uh, please use that in the emojis or in the comments below that emoji, the red envelope Hongbao. Uh, and I know that you'll watched all the way through and thank you for watching. 
Midnight in Manhattan's one of those that just drives me nuts sometimes because um, it doesn't lay very well on me, as you can tell. So I'm going to add the gold as a tip. And actually what would be fun is I have leftovers of the heart set. I should have thought of this before. That's fine. Hard, too hard to find the color street the January box had a heart, but I also have heart stickers, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to add a heart sticker over the black because it's going to look really good. Oh, should I add a panda? Oh my god, I just saw the panda and I'm kind of like, oh my god, duh, panda. I might have to add a panda on my thumb. <laughs> oh, there's, this is going to part three, obviously, if you guys are watching. Um, it is literally like time is running out. So I apologize if that's way too long. You don't have to watch it. Um, but <laughs> this epic mixed manny and just too much chit chat from me um, is um, what we're getting today. So... <laughs> Like and subscribe. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> All right. But let's go. So I'm thinking like make it look like a playing card would be really fun if I put the little tiny hearts and then Crystal Couture over it. So we are going to do that. Oh, oh no, please. Please, please, please don't mess up. It's almost swallowed by the black, isn't it? <laughs> Let's make a bigger heart. Change my mind. Not playing cards anymore. We're just gonna layer some hearts. Here we go, moving on to part three. Again, if you've seen part two all the way, please use a red envelope emoji to show me in the comments below and I'll know. You don't even have to say anything. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this hot mess. Um, it's actually been pretty fun. Uh, I kid you not. Um, just making this come together. Two hearts. Two hearts are better than one. Alright, so pinky. Let's do pinky. 